Hello everybody, and welcome to my in-depth guide on how to use Pixlr, specifically Pixlr X, because Pixlr X can be used to do more than Pixlr E can. Right, so as soon as you load up this home screen, there are so many things at the beginning. But the main thing we want to focus on here is the home tab, because it has the majority of what you're going to need. Of course, there's like a history for all your projects in the past, templates for different things, like what all these say, Twitter post, Twitter cover, all of these, and images. Now, you're almost never going to want to use images, because images just, as soon as you click it, it opens up a new project, and you're just going to practice, like, this is for practice. Like, you click it, it opens up a whole new thing, and you can practice with that. But that's not what you really want to do. So, as you can see, I already have a project thing. Now, this is to pin a project, like, let's say you prioritize this one to duplicate or delete it you can do this or to delete it you can do that right deleted the project you can open image which makes the whole thing the resolution of the image and the image itself is the background right you can do all these things to it like let's move this around now our dog is a little wonky he has like squiggles but that's not what I generally do. What I do, recommended, because I have used this for a very long time, is you want to go to Create New, Full HD, so that's a 1920 pixel x 1080 pixels, which is default for most things. Create. And of course, I zoom out. So you want to hit Control and use this, move the scroll wheel backwards, and that moves you out. And you can always add something by copying it, of course, copy and paste, or, you know, backspace, and you can add image, browse, and you can do that. But it's just easier to copy and paste it. Alright, so we have our dog, and we're going to stretch him out so that he's the full thing. We can rotate him a little bit. Or we can just keep him level and you'll see pink lines whenever you have him completely level there we go you'd see pink lines now there are a lot of things you can do arrange in style you click this option if you're gonna move your puppy around and you never want to use this layout and template thing it really does nothing unless you're resizing it you know anchor point means where it's where the middle of it is so if you want to move that it'll just have the anchor point somewhere towards the corner of the screen and of course you can do this relative change when you click that on you change one of these and it'll change that as well but you're almost never going to want to do that because if you do that I and mean, you can just do that from the home screen we still have our buddy rotated a little there we go and we'll restretch him back out Now there's a text option. There are a lot of text templates, right? You can move all those around. But right now, what we're going to focus on is just new default text. And it'll have some placeholder text at the beginning. You can change the font to any font here. And there are some fonts you can only get with premium, but I mean, without it, there's still quite a bit of fonts that you can use without it. So let's change it to Aberus. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? That looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll change the fill color, which is just what the color of the text is, to black. So that it blends in more with the image. The transparency is how transparent the image is going to be. The size is how big the text is going to be. We want to keep this at a normal... Hmm, let's change it to... Let's change it to 330 because this is gonna actually no not 330 let's change it to 190 so that it doesn't cover up everything but it covers up a little bit line spacing if you have lines like if you hit enter and then type in like something and then you do line spacing little it kind of if you do negatives it goes up if you do positive it goes down so we'll keep it at zero keep it normal 
And we're going to do a little design that shows that we are going to be doing a dog sitting business. So, so since we did the dog sitting business, of course, we need to drag the text somewhere where it makes it look good. We need to make our logo good. So let's put it up here where it blends the best. There we go. Well, actually, we want to make it centered so we... There we go, we centered it. Now what we want to do, add an element, so an overlay. You don't want to use the overlays. They don't really, see, they like cloud up everything. So an overlay is not something that we want to use. So to get rid of it, just control Z, add image, crop and rotate. We want to keep this the same, cut out. There's nothing, really. I, you can cut out, like, parts of this, but, I mean. There's keep and remove. So remove is, like, it removes all that from the image. Keeping is, like, only keeping that part of the image. There's magic cutout, which it cuts out things similar to that color. Right, so you, you cut out this white, it's gonna cut out everything that's, like, that white or similar to that white. And the higher the tolerance, the more it's going to cut. The lower the tolerance, the less it's going to cut. Well, actually, with no tolerance, there's none. Of course, you can change the softness to make it like a softer cut. But that doesn't really do much. Because the softness isn't the best tool. More types of cutting. There's the draw cutout. Right, so you can change the softness from before and change the size of the draw cutout. So, like, you can just draw around and cut out everything if you want to. Or take that down. Hit removed. It removes, like... the. It, it makes it... It makes the, the image less transparent. That's, it's really hard to explain with that. Lasso cutout is you draw a circle or any shape around the area and it cuts it out and of course the same with keep and softness adjust in filter you can add filters so color you can change like the vibrance so we're gonna put our vibrance up and we're gonna keep our saturation the same the temperature maybe down a little bit let's just a little bit though or tint you can change the tint we'll keep the tint at a minimum the hue we'll change it to, to this you can also do that with the light so like all the way up exposure contrast black white highlight and shadows details you can sharpen your image make it more Give it more clarity or give it less to make it blurry or sharper. Smooth, you can make the image with like less static. So we're gonna turn the smoothness up. The blur, we're gonna actually turn the blur up a little bit. And the grain, we don't wanna put any grain. That's for like old timey stuff. Scene, vignette, glamour, bloom, and dehaze. And for toning, you can highlight certain colors the higher you put the amount we'll keep it at zero and fill is just filling with the color there are also effects you can put which are like filters but we want to keep no filter liquify so there's like different ways to liquefy it. You can push, enlarge the liquefied area, shrink the liquefied area. If you hold it over a certain area, it just twists it around. And if you make it more dense, it makes it like faster. Of course, you want to keep this normal. You can retouch it, which doesn't really do much, in all honesty. It just makes it look worse overall. 
So, you want to keep this the same. Oops, I keep doing this. To draw, you can, like, draw certain colors on it. So, if, let's say, you want to, like, draw, like, a little frilly in the corner. You can do that on all corners. There we go. You can give it a little bit of pizzazz. Make it look just better. There we go. To glitch, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. It can give it different, like, glitch filters. But we don't like that. So let's just... Uh-oh. We can, uh... Okay, it took it off. Focus can put the focus on one area and blur all the others out. And dispersion puts like a little bit of a glaze on it. So, so let's of course you can only use this with Pixel or Premium, as it says right here. But yeah, that's. Uh, not so in-depth guide on how to use Pixlr, a little bit of a rushed guide, but it should work, and I hope it does work. Thank you, and I hope this tutorial helped you in any way.